The natural log is perfect for positive numbers, but at zero, it crashes to negative infinity. We hit a wall. In the real domain, negative inputs are simply forbidden. So what is the log of negative pi? We just need a new dimension to see it. Let us explore the solution. Normally, we navigate the complex plane using a grid. We walk over x and up y. But there is a more powerful way. Instead of a grid, we use Euler's polar form. The formula is z equals r times e to the i theta. r controls the distance. Changing it only makes the number grow or shrink. Theta represents direction. Changing it does not change the size. It simply rotates the number. And this is the key. To reach negative numbers, we don't need to grow. To solve this puzzle, we must leave the number line behind and enter the complex plane. We start here at positive pi. Our goal is to reach negative pi, but we cannot just cross through zero. We need a vector. We lock its length, its magnitude, at exactly pi. This distance will not change. Now, we apply the rotation. Multiplying by e to the power of i theta spins our number. We travel through the imaginary dimension, forming a perfect arc. We arrive at the destination. We have rotated exactly 180 degrees, or pi radians. And here is the formula. Negative pi is simply positive pi, multiplied by Euler's rotation term, e to the i pi. With Euler's identity, we can finally solve the equation. We substitute negative pi with its polar form. Now, we take the natural logarithm of both sides. This allows us to access the exponent. Using the laws of logarithms, multiplication turns into addition. We split the term into two parts. Look at the second part. The natural log and the exponential are inverses. So they cancel each other out leaving us with the exact solution, the natural log of positive pi plus i times pi. Numerically, this works out to approximately 1.144 plus 3.141i. But rotation is periodic. We spin around the circle forever. The answer is infinite. We add 2k pi for every single turn. Proof that mathematics has no dead ends. Thanks for watching.